Okay, we're going to have a quick look at exercise 9. Now in exercise 9, a chef uses a spreadsheet to work out the cost of each dish in a menu. The ingredients are listed in a worksheet called Ingredients and the costs are listed in a worksheet called Cost of Dish, as shown below. It's got these two tabs showing. It's a slightly weird exercise, but it's a good way of showing the lookup function. The Cost of Dish worksheet has been set up so the cost of an individual ingredient is looked up in the Ingredients worksheet. The Cost of Dish is then worked out by adding the cost of the ingredients. You to set these worksheets up and work out the cost of beef, potato and vegetable stew. So, if we just have a look here, this is what needs to be entered and this is pretty straightforward and this is going to be where we get their output. Now if we look at this one that Millie's already created here, what we can see, just delete that for a minute, okay, we can see on the cost of ingredients we've got space for the uh, beef, potato and vegetable I'm going to put a total cost section here. And we've got the ingredients already selected in this tab. Now, if we want to know how much beef, the price of beef, we can do equals lookup, open brackets, and it tells you the first thing we want is the lookup value. So we're going to click on beef. Then we want to look at what the lookup vector is. So what are we looking up? Well, we're looking up the price in the ingredients. Once so we're going to click on the comma, you can type this in, but I wouldn't. I would click on uh, ingredients tab and I would just select the whole column so I'm just going to click on A okay then we're going to press comma because we're entering the next value and this time we're putting in the results vector so we want it to pull the price from B so we're just going to click on the row B there and if we close the brackets now and press enter you should see that it now comes up with beef being £5.60 except for it's not showing its currency so we're going to right click we're going to go to Format Cell, and we're going to change this into a currency one when it comes up. So select Currency, and you can select whichever symbol you most want at the moment here. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to leave it dollars. Okay, so it's now $5.60 for the price. Now, if we pull this down, this should work okay because it's still pulling from A to A and B to B. This doesn't work if we selected a more specific range. So if we just go back to here and I redo this, okay? So if we go back here and I do the same thing again and goes equals look up open brackets, click on the price of beef or the beef. We go to ingredients and this time we just select the area that we've got, comma, and select the prices that we want and close the brackets. It still works fine for beef, but when we pull it down, you'll see it doesn't work properly for the next two down, or it shouldn't work properly for the next two down. And the reason for it, seems to have actually worked in this case, is that this one is pulling from the range A3 to A11, but this is pulling from the range A4 to A12. And what we have to do to make sure it consistently works is we have to change each of these into an absolute cell reference by using a dollar sign before the A and the 3, a dollar sign before the A and the 11, telling them that we want this range to stay consistent. Okay, before the B and the 3. Good if I don't click off it. Uh, good before the B and the 11. And now... If we click on that and pull that down, you should find that the cell reference now stays consistent. So it's looking up A4 because we want that one to change, but we don't want this range to change here. Okay? And then the total cost is fairly easy because that's just an equal sum, open brackets, select the range we want, close the brackets. Okay? So two ways of doing it. In all honesty, I would do it the first way. I would just select the whole column because it means we can add extra bits in later. But using an absolute cell reference should work as well. And the key bit is don't try to type the um, sheet in. Just click on it because you'll notice it's got things like apostrophes around it. It is possible, but there's no need.